Croatia is the best football nation in the world. So what do we mean by that? I think we mean that our shared history, our culture, and our unity, both in winning and in defeat, make Croatia the best football nation. Now, it's a disclaimer here. We are not saying that other countries don't feel the same way about their nation. This is just our opinion from our perspective. Yeah. And I think most people don't know this, but uh, back in the 90s, the, the spark that lit the fuse, so to speak, was a fight that broke out at a football match. And I think even Modric had something to say about that. Yes, I have the quote here. This team is made up of players who are desperate to wear this jersey and show the world what they are worth. We all want to play for our country and this jersey. We fought as a nation for independence and we continue to fight to the last drop. He said it so well. Croatians are really passionate people. I mean, I would know I've been with one for 16 years and <laughs> I would say I'm quite close with her family. So I've experienced that passion in all of its forms. Yes, I think we're quite expressive people. I mean, you can just take a look at back in 2018 when we were the finalists and we waited for hours and hours for our football heroes to come back home. And I think the total number was somewhere like half a million people. And keep in mind that that's in a country of less than four million. And that's not even to mention all the small parades and welcome home groups that gathered for the players coming to their respective hometowns, like in Split or Zadar, Zadar. or Slavonsky yeah, Brod. That's true. And I think we're expressive in, in what we sound like, that's for sure, because every single game that we even watched this time around, we screamed at the top of our lungs. <laughs> We sing songs, we light shit on fire. There's lots of smoke and lots of fire. <laughs> and particularly for this tournament, we were quite worried before it began because usually it takes place in the summer. And we thought, what is the atmosphere going to be like with it being so cold? But that didn't stop us Croatians. We went out, we packed those bars and restaurants, we stood outside, we froze and we celebrated and cheered for our national team together. And when we say that Croatia is the best football nation, we're really talking about the story of the underdog here. Mm -hmm. While Croatia has the talent and the merit to be among one of the best in the world, they're constantly underestimated. Yeah. Now, sure, we're kind of sad about the loss against Argentina. Well, they really just returned the 3-0 loss that we gave to them in 2018. That's true, exactly. <laughs> but what I mean is that when you watch their style of play, you can quickly see the importance of never giving up. Even in the face of adversity, even in the face of no one else believing that they could do it, they show that heart and perseverance is more important than arrogance. It shows the world what you can do if you believe, no matter how small, Croats had to fight for everything, and I think that that's why they're like this. That's the secret to our success, our resilience and our unity in struggle. That's right. I think about how many things have changed in Croatia and how many things are going to be changing. They're adopting the Euro next year. They're still dealing with the aftermath of all those earthquakes. There's economic disparity and political and social issues to deal with. So there's a lot of people that are struggling with real problems in this country still. And I think that's why football is so important. Right, it's like in that moment, we get to forget. We gather, we celebrate, and we can feel pride in the country that we fought for. And that doesn't mean that those issues disappear. No. They need to be addressed and a lot of things need to change. But for that sliver of time, we can focus on something more positive and we can come together as a nation. Even though there's such a small population in this country, there's such a large diaspora abroad. There are fans yeah. in North America, in Australia, all over Europe, even in parts of Asia. And they may have left physically, 
but their hearts are still in Croatia. Yeah, I remember just watching these last few games, the diaspora cheering in places like LA, Vancouver, Melbourne, or best of yet is all the fans in Qatar with their gigantic Croatian flag on the beach. Amazing. And that's how I felt when Canada played Croatia. I should start off by saying that I will always be proud to be Canadian. Although I wasn't born there, a lot of the opportunities that I've had and the success that my family's had is because I was raised in Canada. The way that I think and the way that I behave is largely impacted by Canadian culture. On the other hand, my heart bleeds Croatian. The way that I express myself, my emotions, is largely to do with my Croatian culture. The traditions that I carry on are Croatian. So when Canada played Croatia, it was literally like a battle of the mind versus the heart. And we always know what ends up winning. For you, it's the heart. It's always the heart. And I was born in Canada, but when it came to the game, there was no question in my mind who I was going to be cheering for. Um, Crater! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, uh, but Canada has hockey and they call it soccer, so you stick to hockey and Croatia is a football nation. You got it. So after that devastating loss to Argentina, we're still here and we're cheering for Croatia to win the bronze medal and repeat what they did in their first World Cup appearance in 1998. Right, so we're hopeful, but we still know that it's not gonna be an easy task. I mean, Morocco is a really talented team, really talented goalkeeper, and we didn't underestimate them even when we played them in the group stage. So we're not gonna make any predictions because we think that that's bad, bad luck. luck. Um, but feel free to make your your own predictions and uh, leave us a comment below and let us know what you think. Um, hopefully you'll be cheering for Croatia alongside us and uh, eat them all. Iznad svih Hrvatska!